Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. This is only the 130th time that I've hit the record. Of, not, not, not literally. Seems like it though. Um, yeah, I've been trying to record this video several times. I keep on running out of what I'm going to say. And you know, some people's like, "Oh, why don't you script your videos?" I really don't like to script my videos because it makes me feel like I'm fake. Um, and I know a lot of people do script their videos, and that's probably good for most content creators, but I've never done that. Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. Um, what do you guys think? You think I should script my videos? <laughs> I don't want to. It doesn't make me happy. Um, but if that's something you guys want, I'll do that. So reason why I'm making this video is uh, I've been following this channel for a long time, uh, for a very long time, maybe four or five years, give or take, I think. Uh, I forget, like I, I, I've been following a lot of channels for a long time and it just kind of blends together and I've been on this platform for 10, 11, 12 years. I don't know. Um, it seems like every time I look back at my first videos, it's always seems like it's 10, 11, 12 years. I'm like, good Lord. Uh, but I've been making the videos off and on, uh, seriously and not serious for a long time. And it hasn't been until recent. Uh, but I've been taking things super serious and trying to build a community, which I truly love. So this isn't a chili video. Trust me, we do have a small chili video that I do want to make. But this is a video about another creator. And this isn't me attacking the creator. Uh, I would suggest not attacking this creator or saying bad things to them on their channel. Um, again, that's I can't stop you, but I don't want you to. Because this is not an attack. This is me kind of giving my critique on how I feel about this creator. Um, and it's it's it kind of, I'm kind of nervous about talking about it because, you know, I you know, by chance he sees this. He's like, you fucking suck, Derek. Um, you know, it's, it sucks for me. I, I kind of feel like some some creators do need some critique. And even though my channel's way smaller than his... Like, he's probably in, like, a million subscribers. Um, you know, I kind of feel like you should have something uh, you should do. Uh, should be able to talk about other creators. Um, but like I said, it's not complete, completely negative. Um, but I kind of want to talk about it. So I've been following uh, Review Tech USA for a long time. Uh, the uh, guy's name's Rich. Um, he's a big guy like me. Has a beard. Uh, has he's a again a big guy. He's bald. Sorry, Rich. Uh, <laughs> he, but he likes to talk about video games and drama and stuff within the tech industry. Sometimes he doesn't talk about like he doesn't review tech often, uh, despite the name being Review Tech USA. Um, and I always liked him. I always liked his humor. It's, it's kind of dark, which I enjoy. And I do like his takes on most things, but it hasn't from this last year or so. Um, I've noticed things just like I, I, I guess I'm having a little bit of a burnout, maybe, maybe because of the uh, the humor. Um, and don't don't get me wrong, like I love fucked up humor. I loved love random things, but I guess so much of a good thing or a bad thing. Um, you can be a little bit burnt out. And this is kind of where I stand on some of Rich's content. Um, some of you is coming by his channel. You know what I'm talking about. The birds, the birds, the birds, the birds. Every every video is about the birds. And you're like, well, all your videos is about chili. But not all of them. It's most of them. Um, yeah, but like, I don't understand the whole bird thing. If you... Just watch one or two or three or four, five videos. They all have the bird thing, you know, and it's always creepy. Like, but I, at first I liked it. I was like, this is kind of funny. It's it's random. It's weird. Um, I like what you're doing, Rich. It's I, you know, it's cool. Do something stupid, stupid, weird shit. And I liked it for a while, and I, you know, I don't feel like I'm the only one with this opinion. I, I don't, I don't think it'd be fair to say that I'm not the only one that thinks this way. But uh, every time I turn a video on of his, I watch him daily, and he starts out with a bird thing. I'm just like, stop with the birds, like the birds. Every, I, it's, it's, 
it's uh, I think I think it's Ren's course, just like it's Ren's course with chili. Um, but sometimes people like this. Some people come back just for the birds. And I'm not saying quit doing the birds. That's your choice. It's your channel. Uh, me, I'm not a fan of it anymore. I used to be. I used to be like, okay, that's fine. But uh, I got to remember, I'm not the only person on the fucking internet. Um, I'm just another fat guy, neckbeard, trying to get his name out on YouTube and talk about video games, mental health, and bullies, basically. But not only that has been bugging me, it's his stance or lack thereof stance on certain things. Uh, a big thing uh, recently has been the Microsoft Activision acquisition and how Sony is all but heard about it because, oh, Xbox is going to own Call of Duty and they're going to have exclusives on their system. Like Sony doesn't already have timed exclusives, DLC exclusives full-on exclusives, buying up studios left and right. Microsoft does it. It's, that's bad, Microsoft. You're a monopoly. Yeah, Microsoft has enough money to buy whatever the fuck they want. Um, and Activision is a scummy company. They have some good games, but they are a scummy company, just like EA. If Microsoft was like, hey, I want to buy EA, I'm just like, that's fine. I'm cool with that, too. Go for it. Buy Activision, buy EA, Change that culture, fix it. Like, get rid of some fucking idiots that's on those, uh, like, I don't know, what, what's what's the Bobby, Bobby Kot Kotick and uh, whoever's over EA. Just change the whole culture. Uh, don't, don't fucking change it for modern audiences. Don't do that. Don't, I, that's something else entirely. Um, but I don't know what. Rich's real stance is on it, because it seems like he flip-flops on it, um, which I understand, like, your opinion can change um, every once in a while, but I, I never could figure out, like, what Rich's real uh, thought is on it. Um, it seems like one day it's one thing, and the next day it's another thing. Oh, Microsoft is good. No, nope, Microsoft is bad. Sony's good. No, Sony's bad. Um, there's never really a clear picture on where he stands with his content, um, because it, it flips, he flip flops a lot, and that's it's that's the thing I find frustrating about his content anymore. Is I kind of feel like he's just making it just to be have a quota to be like, hey, I, I'm trying to get in with the algorithm. My channel's big. Let's talk about the big thing because I would do the same thing. Uh, I would talk about big things too if I was a huge channel. I, I mean, you kind of have to at your life. That's what you make your money from. Um, but at least have some kind of clear uh, points, a clear side to what you believe in and what you do and do not like. Um, don't say one day Microsoft makes great bologna sandwiches and the next day Microsoft's bologna sandwiches taste like horse shit. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, he kind of did the same thing with like the Switch. I love the Switch. Oh, but the Steam Deck? eats the switch that's your opinion you're allowed to have opinions on the internet um but have a clear stance have a clear stance that doesn't change hour to hour uh and like i said it's i know you're trying to feed your audience and your audience likes that you clearly know what you're doing you have a huge channel um and like i said this isn't me attacking you rich and you're never going to see this video to begin with um but you know i i will still follow you even if you talk about bird breasts all day long. Uh, you know, I might not watch the, watch it after the bird breasts go on. I might be like, okay, I'm done. Unless it's something I really care about. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, I think, I think it's kind of, I think there's a lot of people kind of think that same thing. Looking at some of the comments, um, you know, I see a lot of people saying these things and how you kind of flip flop. Uh, I just kind of wish your message was a whole lot more clear um, and kind of precise, and like down to the point to where like, hey, this is what I believe in. I'm not going to change it tomorrow. Um, you're not a politician or uh, some kind of washed up celebrity trying to hang on to every bit of relevance you possibly can. I don't know. I don't know how your channel is doing. I'm assuming it's probably doing pretty good uh, for the most part, because I mean, look at your channel. It's great. It's big. 
Um, we all want that. Shit, I'd love to go next year and be like, hey, I got a million subs, everybody. Let's have a party. Uh, but that's not going to happen. Um, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these bigger channels that cover the pop culture zeitgeist, um, and it's not just rich. I, I see a lot of people doing it. Um, some people flip flop just as much as rich. Um, a good example is probably Stephanie, Jim, Ste Jim, Stephanie Sterling. Um, sometimes, uh, she can come off a little, I don't know. She kind of comes off a little hard on things and I do call her she, if that's, I don't remember, I don't know what pronoun, uh, he, she goes by. I think it's she, she. I, I don't know the pronouns. I don't know the pronoun game, guys. I don't. I, I don't want to know the pronoun game. I don't care about it. But I, you know, I'm going to call you what you want to be called, though. Um, and clearly, Stephanie is a is, yeah. That makes me sound so bad. Jesus Christ! I am not. I'm not in the woke culture. I'm the, I don't understand it. Um, so I don't know. It's not a, not a thing against anybody that's a part of that culture. I just don't understand it. I'm just, maybe I'm just too old. Um, but that's another thing is, um, rich kind of goes after some of these people that the get, uh, go rich, go broke, uh, or get woke, go broke crew. I guess that's what they call them. The get woke, go broke people. Uh, I, you know, part of me is kind of on that side because, you know, I don't like everything in, that I love being changed to fit modern audiences. Like, I don't, it, why ruin a good thing? By just modernizing. <laughs> don't, don't fucking do it. Um, it's bad. Yeah, I probably, probably shouldn't have said anything about it. Rich does talk about things like that. He does kind of go after the people for a hat. But, uh, and I can kind of see he's way more progressive. And I like to consider myself pretty progressive uh, for the most part. Um, you know, I believe on pretty much whatever everybody else does. Uh, some people will say, oh, you're an extreme right-wing uh, conservative douchebag. And I'm not, like... There's not really much of me that is right wing. Uh, it's more liberal than anything. Uh, even though there's some things that I clearly, clearly don't care about. Um, but, you know, Rich does kind of attack people on that side. Uh, I, can't, I think it's unfair. Uh, but the Internet's qu quite biased when it comes to anybody that doesn't share that same message um and you have to like i feel like these days you have to have that message inside your content and i kind of feel like he kind of does add these things uh so this is a good example is his beef between him and the quartering um i follow the quartering uh i follow rich i follow keem star follow boogie 2988 uh you know, I follow a lot of people that would probably surprise you um, on both sides. Both sides, you'd probably be like, well, uh, clearly he has a varied opinion on different things. And that's what I think everybody should do. I think everybody should be open to different things instead of just because one side of the Internet hates a certain amount of people. doesn't mean you have to just join that side just because it helps you uh, in the algorithm. Where the where the fuck am I even going here? Where am I going? I lost track. It's what happens. It's what happens. I lose track. Once I get onto the the political climate, I'm just like, oh god, where did I go? I really didn't want to go there. <laughs> but um, I guess I guess the point is is I kind of wish Rich would um kind of be more transparent on what he really believes in when it comes to these things like. I, I, it's, it's disappointing and frustrating to, you know, hop on one video and he's for these things and hop on the next video as he's against these things. And this is almost every single thing he covers. Um, it's just, you know, how we got tricked with the Bayonetta 
voice actress. You know, a lot of people was like, yeah, that's fucked up, Platinum and Nintendo. Then it comes out that the person that made those comments and accusations was a total piece of shit. And, you know, I'm sure a lot of content creators was like, oh, I'm duped. So here we go. I changed my mind. And I've changed my mind a few times on things. I, I can't be completely uh, without guilt, but it's true. And it's this video has gone way, way longer than I expected. So basically all I'm saying is, Rich, um, I love your work, dude. Don't get me wrong. I do find some things frustrating, and I'm not the only one that thinks that. And it doesn't really matter what I think uh, compared to your channel. Um, but maybe I, I, I think you should focus more on uh, the gaming, the mental health stuff. Um, and, you know, the drama. I don't, you know, I, I talk about drama stuff all the time. There's nothing wrong with that. Everybody loves drama. But I just kind of wish you would have a better uh, definition of what you really believe in. Like what you truly think, not what you kind of think one day and the next day you don't. Um, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for sticking with that long, shitty thing. Um, I love you guys very much. Feel free to hit that subscribe button. Hopefully I didn't offend anybody, but, you know, um, I'm going to always want to have that chance of offending a lot of people by saying things that most people don't really stand for on the Internet. So it is what it is. But I love you guys very much, and I'll see you soon.